So as we are getting ready to um, take my sesame over to our new place, um, we have been training her to get used to the carrier by just leaving it on the bed and uh, every now and then she just comes in here and she takes a, a good nap in the carrier. So now she's definitely more comfortable, um, you know, hanging out in the carrier. And uh, what I'm going to do next is probably because I'm departing right now. So I'm going to just leave some of the um, the potty pad for the dogs uh, on the on the top layer. So if she does pee or poo, uh, it will be easy for me to actually just remove it and then uh, put a new pad right in there. And uh, so I have a few over here that's ready. So I'm gonna find a space uh, in my bag and we're gonna leave it uh, at some other place. But for now, she's pretty much uh, ready to go. Uh, we also have to go to the vet. So make sure if you are taking your cat um, or your dog over uh, in the in-cabin flights, make sure you take them to the vet, do an examination and have the vet uh, come up with a certificate that says your cat or your dog is safe to fly uh, in cabin. At least that's uh, that's a rule for the United Airlines. So we did went to the vet and they also checked on the rabies vaccination, which was up to date. Also, you cannot travel within 30 days of rabies vac vaccination. So if you do plan to travel, make sure your your companion is up to date on the rabies vaccination and it's not done within the last 30 days. Okay, so very, very important. Otherwise, you're not gonna able to take your cat or your dog into the cabin, okay? So now she's pretty much very comfortable. All I can do is just like this and then I'm just gonna close this and then have her just wait inside. And then, you know, pretty much I'm just gonna take her like this over to the airport and put it under my uh, under my seat. By the way, she's uh, she's quite heavy. She's well about sixteen pounds, which is the maximum uh, weight this carrier can carry. So she's definitely on the big side, and uh, I don't think it's gonna have any problem carrying it. But uh, uh, just so you know, this medium size is uh, rated for sixteen pounds um, carrying capacity. And uh, right now we're not traveling, so I'm just gonna let her out. So yeah, definitely. Um, I think this is a great carrier, but uh, when I take her over to our new place, um, I'll give you guys a final update on how the carrier uh, handles at the actual airport. Okay, so uh, see you in the next section of the video. So the uh, Delta pet carrier has successfully survived this uh, trip to bring Sesame over to our new place in New Jersey. And she is exploring the house and getting used to the surrounding area. And uh, the carrier has suffered no damage whatsoever. So a couple things I want to uh, bring out to you guys is... Um, the carrier, when I tried to put it under the seat, it was slightly just higher than the seat. So I have to actually crush it just a little bit for it to go under the seat. Uh, this is the medium size, so I don't think the small size is going to have any problems going in under the seat. And uh, But that's just something for you guys to keep in mind. And also, um, with Sesame, she's 16 pounds. It's, it's actually, she's actually quite heavy. So if you're trying to... Uh, put this thing on your shoulder, uh, be prepared because it's kind of tiring carrying a 16 pound cat around the airport. Uh, so I think actually the best way is actually just to lift it from the, uh, the handle over here instead of using the shoulder strap. Unless your hand is really tired, you can use the shoulder strap. Um, other than that, it's, it has held up very, very well and she have very sharp claws. She was just trying to scratch all around, but because of the design of the mesh, it's kind of like those mesh chairs. So those those mesh are actually very, very strong. It's not very easy to destroy those, uh, those meshes, even with sharp claws. So the carrier has survived pretty well for, for this trip. Um, 
in terms of the durability, I cannot tell you guys right now because this is only the first trip that we have ever done. But uh, uh, I, I, would, I, I think it's going to survive a few more trips without any issues at all. Uh, the little pad over here works, uh, works just fine. It's very nice and comfy for the cat to sit over there. And uh, as you can see, she's, uh, she's actually quite happy. So um, yeah, this uh, concludes the review of the Delta pet carrier, uh, specifically designed for air travel for your small companions. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this carrier, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, hope to see you in my next video. Take care.